upgrades or for fault finding, you need to remove this panel to get access to the cables and some of the control devices. And by doing so, sometimes you can open up a can of worms. So I want to sort this mess out. Uh, it's not when you do some fault finding, you, you really find it hard in the spaghetti where the wires are coming from and where they're going. So before I start to clean that up and shorten that and put it onto a bus bar, I have to label it then. It's very important if that they get a white tag. We can now see it's beginning to shape up. So they nicely are bundled up. And I'll have to do the same thing with all the red wires there. At the moment they're still woven into all the others. Now that they're all nicely labeled, we can confidently cut them loose. It's fun. That can now go in a bin. Now after cutting and all the wires between the actual fuse board and the ducting, we have this separately. And I bought some female male connectors and applied one for the fuse box, one for the awning control, and one for the lights. So the board easily comes off. You have now easy access to the board. And of course, here are the, ma the male uh, plugs. They come out of that little hole. And of course, here I've got a little gadget, which I bought for under $40. It's a 12 volt bus bar here with a positive connected to it. And all the individual circuits go on to all the loads and down here you have got your minus bus bar and the beauty if a fuse goes because of a fold the led lights up so it's it's great the board now comes off very easily with those plugs and you have easy access to all the circuits and with one look you can actually see which circuit is malfunctioning or has a fault uh, now Fault finding is a much easier job. And the leftover spaghetti could feed a whole family.